Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching CJ Hope video. Today we will make this hit mark effect in Unreal Engine 5.5 Niagara. And this is all Niagara emitters, each and every layer, but you can do this whole thing in the material. And if you want me to create the whole material for this effect for a single material, let me know in the comments so I will make a material tutorial. So let's start this tutorial. Let's start this. So first I will make a material and ring and there are lots of ways to make a ring i have already lots of tutorials on just ring using texture or nodes so i will use two sided here and transparent unlit and i'll just take a radial and this is how it looks and if you take the sign you can make a ring out of this if you want fading from both sides because this is sharp from one side just make the sign two and then control the thickness you can use power you can use lots of other things so let's say i use power or you can use subtract also and just a dynamic parameter and i'll call this thickness okay and then i'll take the particle color that will go here and this will go in the opacity simple i'll just save it now in the Niagara, I'll take the Niagara and let's hit it. I need a single particle, so I'll just right click, take a minimal. It should spawn once so in the state, self, loop behavior once, and then there will be one particle, spawn burst, one particle. It should never die, so in the particle state, turn this off. Life will be infinite, whatever value is here, doesn't matter, okay. So this is one particle so i'll just use this ring material i'll browse this and use it here now we have this ring if i just stop this and let's say the size of ring maybe 200 and then here i need a dynamic parameter to control the thickness like this so like i want maybe 200 let's say i'll make this local and then I'll drag it into the viewport. One thing you will notice this is camera facing, it should face the ground. So, for that, uh, it's camera facing. So, go to the sprite render in the alignment, custom alignment in the facing, custom facing vector. And then here, take this module align to mesh orientation. By default, it will align this on the x axis. So, change the x to z and now it will face the ground. Now you can put it here uh, size maybe i'll increase maybe 400 or maybe even more 600 and the thickness i want to decrease a little bit more so i'll just make this and it is it looks little faded so i can just increase the alpha so in here if i increase the alpha it will be harder okay then i can go here even more so it's a hard ring now this is how it looks here okay so after this uh, let's say this i want to make actually not that hard maybe fade it and yeah so now i need one more ring and it still looks very small maybe 800 Cool. then i want a ring a smaller ring so i'll just duplicate this you can do that in a single emitter if you want i have a lots of tutorials covering that single topic so in this i'll just decrease the size maybe this much yeah i like it now i want a, a effect here also and in this one the smaller one i will decrease this value so thickness will be a little bit more and it will be deliver properly okay so as you have seen the thumbnail and that's why you clicked here so this is the thumbnail and if you'll see the layers i have created this and i have created this layer now i have to create these so first i will create from i will start from outside so i will create this layer which is red and faded so i'll duplicate this one more time and this time i'll just make it red and maybe size around here 
and thickness maybe this much okay then i will duplicate this one more time it's just you have to like design your thing and in this one i'll decrease this value to make the thickness and then i will make the size around here and then maybe bulb a little more down like this even more i can use maybe this much and then size here cool second uh, i will duplicate this one more time this one and i'll decrease the size of course and it will be around here it will be little whitish like this then increase the thickness so decrease this value okay and then one more time i'll duplicate this emitter and this time i'll decrease size around here and this time i'll make the alpha little hard and this will be a little more whitish cool so this is how i'm designing it now i want some particles like uh, streaks like these one so if you count these although that doesn't matter one two three four you can add whatever value you want so what i'll do let's say i duplicate the first emitter here and i'll delete the sprite renderer and i'll take this again so it will come with this radial material now i'll do this custom alignment again okay and now let's say size i'll decrease okay so this is now i want this here first let's say you have five particles then i'll take the shape location i'll take the torus instead of uh, uh, and i'll make the radius handle zero and let's say torus size is around here you will notice the particle spawning randomly on that torus so what you'll do and one more thing if i show you let me decrease the size of particles and make these particles like 200 oh this torus looks weird torus not working i think let me just yeah now it's working it was weird okay so now it's on the place i want to just add this point and then these particles are randomly distributed i want the space equally distributed so in here instead of random take the direct and then in the u just add execution index and that's it i'll turn this off let me save all while it's taking time you can just subscribe so I'll, I'll now decrease this maybe six particles you can see the size the position now if here so size is seven if i take non-uniform and i take like increase it on one axis so the rotation is not it's just one directional x i want to point into the center so for that what you can do you can take initial mesh orientation and then instead of random take the vector and then connect here shape vector or shape normal see it's fixed so i'll just make this one also red and maybe bit bright like this and if you want random size in the length you can do that with this value but let it be then i'll duplicate this and this time i'll make this one pure red and i'll increase the size on this axis and on this axis also and decrease the alpha just to make it like a glow cool then i'll just duplicate these two emitter again and what I'll do in these two emitter, 
let's say this is like 50 and 50 and then I'll change the size for both this one maybe 50 and 50 so you have these smaller one and I guess I think I need to make these little more like this but I will make the size little random so this is 50 and this is 1 let's say go here so I'll make it 1.8 50 and 20 okay and same thing I will do with this 20 50 1.5 so size is random in this one you can do all, all random you can go random like this cool i'm not using very random values but you can use cool one more thing i'll do again i'll just duplicate these one which are faded this one and let's say I use more size here and more thickness maybe this much but less alpha negative like this cool so yeah you have this cool kind of fact and this whole thing can be done in the material I'm telling you again. And if you want me to create a whole material for this effect with all the parameters to control everything like these emitters, I can do that. Just let me know in the comment below. So these are all you can do in the material also. All you need is just randomization in this. That's all. Although you can do something like you can make a material which has some tricky kind of thing to make it like that you can also add a glowy kind of thing also so we had a layer this one i'll duplicate this one more time and this time i'll increase the thickness even more like this and make the transparency even more less like this so it it will look like a glowy Looks fine, I hope. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye-bye.